chapter number six. What are the mechanical loads that we have to take into consideration for moving floor? First of all, we have the weight of the uh, material inside uh, the silo, the moving floor silo. So please take into account the filling height in the silo and also the density. This weight uh, creates mechanical loads on the support beams. Uh, and we have such a um, load scheme uh, for such a cross member. And it creates also a uh, mechanical load on the slats that are put onto the cross members gliding forward and backward. So the distance between two cross members uh, is in fact calculated uh, in accordance to the weight of the material that is inside the silo. Uh, 